Welcome back to the channel guys, this is your host Yeet and today's episode is going to be sponsored by Hatfield Gun Company. Uh, it's going to be a simple tutorial video of how to break down the PAS, this is a 410 right here, but it will also be the same for the 12 gauge PAS. Um, so we're going to go ahead and disassemble it, clean it, and put it back together. So let's get started. So first things first, safety first, so go ahead and make sure the firearm is clear. So no live shells here and let's check the magazine tube and I can see there's no live shells in the mag tube. So we are all clear and ready to go. So first step, we'll go ahead and actually remove the, the magazine cap right here. And once you remove that, you can actually, uh, what you can do in an easier way, kind of push the bolt almost forward, uh, right about there. And you can actually go ahead and just pull the barrel off. It's very simple, pull it, pull it and just go ahead and let's set that aside for now. We'll go ahead and work on that in a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do now, uh, we're gonna pull out the, the pump handle here and the bolt and the action bar. So the action bar uh, would be this piece right here with the bolt rides on. You go ahead and lift the bolt and the firearm is now field strip. And so go ahead and I'll start clean cleaning from the receiver side here. What I like to do is I go ahead and take the um, some clean cloth, go ahead and give us a nice wipe so we get that nice and clean. You can also uh, get inside the receiver if it gets very dirty, um, you will get some carbon build up here. So if you may wanna get in there, you can go ahead and wipe that. Um, but usually you shouldn't have to clean the inside receiver unless you shoot a lot with this firearm. Then you can actually go ahead and uh, use some Q-tips or something smaller than this to actually get in there and clean it well. And once you have, of course, we do have our mag plug here. And that's something you can keep in mind and go ahead. I'm gonna keep that in there for now. So once you're done with the receiver and the magazine tube here, once you clean this outside, we can put down the receiver right here. What I like to do is the bolt usually gets uh, pretty dirty right here. You guys can see it's pretty black. So what I like to do is uh, just go ahead and wipe it. So let's get all that grease and carbon build, uh, building uh, out of it. So I wiped the bolt face and just the bolt overall just to get everything out of it the excess oil and the fouling. And once that is done, and when you think it's dry and nice and clean, so we got our bolt right here. You guys can see it's a lot cleaner than before. We'll get to the lubricating part. Now we'll move on to the action bar here. We'll go ahead and wipe that. And not much here to clean, um, but uh, where the bolt rides will get dirtier, so I'll just clean that. It's fairly simple as far as cleaning and maintaining this gun. It's a fairly basic gun, it being a pump. So since we wipe this down, it's nice and clean compared to before. So we're done with that part. And we can move on to the barrel here. Uh, you see the choke is a little bit out, so what I'm going to do is actually just hand tighten this. Um, so it's nice and snug there. So it doesn't get in the way and you can always use your choke tool for that so what I'm going to do is I have my cleaning rod right here I have three patches so I'm gonna go ahead and grab one patch and today's video I'm also using the hops 9 solvent so same thing if you guys had owned uh, another Hatfield shotgun you would use the, the same steps as far as cleaning the firearm uh, go ahead and pour some solvent on the patch get nice and wet and then you would grab your cleaning rod uh, with this attachment right here and run the patch through it. So it's about 50% in, like so, pretty much. And grab the barrel from the breech end, go ahead and insert your cleaning rod, go all the way through, uh, kind of a couple of times. Right, we wanna get it nice and wet so it breaks down the carbon buildup. So you guys can see, I'm gonna put this, put this down so you guys can see it better. Uh, right here, you guys should be able to see it. It is fairly dirty. So we got some of that carbon building up. So what I like to do personally, I'll just go ahead and remove this attachment and throw on, um, you can use a, a polymer brush too, but I like to use a, a, a copper brush or a brass brush. Uh, they're a little more abrasive and it cleans a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on there. So 
screw this in, boom. And same step here, so we'll go all the way through from the uh, breech end. So go ahead, go all the way through, come back, go all the way through, come back and out. So once we get that done, that agitates the rest of the carbon buildup inside the barrel. So we'll go ahead and remove this attachment now and insert our other attachment that we're just using. This. Here, so let's tighten that back up. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use two clean patches, but you can also use one. Just wanted to be a better fit here. So go ahead and stack them up, run them through here and pull them through about 50%. Now, same steps pretty much. Go ahead and grab the barrel uh, from the breech end all the way to the muzzle end. And then let's get that stuck in the choke tube again. Okay. There we go. And go all the way through, all the way back, and go through. There we go. So I'm gonna place the barrel, so I'm gonna show you guys again. See, we got that. Uh, majority of it out so what you would do is basically repeat the same steps till you get clean patches so your patches don't look like this so once you repeat this step and you can always do it multiple times so what I mean by that is you can run maybe two solvent patches one once with the brush and then go ahead and, um, you know use a clean patch twice and then just keep repeating the step till again it comes out white and clean so once we are done with that we can actually move on to lubricating the firearm. Uh, this require this firearm does not require much uh, lubrication. What I'm going to use is Hops 9 Black. It is a fully synthetic oil, so it's not like REM oil, so it wouldn't really dissipate. So that's why I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. What I like to do is I'll go ahead and just put, actually, just so we, can, we are more precise here, uh, we can use another patch, but what I'm going to do for this video, I'm gonna use, uh, go ahead and put some on here. So, a couple of drops there, now I got some oil here. So what I would do, I'll just go run over what kind of the contact surfaces are. So, go ahead and touch those, so we get those lubricated. So where the bolt rides, the bolt will kind of slide back and forth here. So when you get that nice and lubed, so that part done a little bit around the action of bar you can see where the contact points are on the left and the right side so go ahead and hit those and underneath of course in and now the bolt I just simply lightly lubricate um, overall the whole bolt uh, underneath it where I would right here kind of go onto the action bar uh, on the side and on the locking block up top right here but uh, what I don't lubricate is the bolt face, so I'll go ahead and leave that dry. So this piece right here, I will lubricate. The rest is kind of just easy lube on the whole bolt. So lubricate it, all right. And same thing on the magazine tube, I'm gonna go ahead and slide the lubricate it. That will just kind of increase the lubricity on the magazine tube. So you get a nice smooth pump there and also decreases the wear on the magazine uh, tube here. And what you can also do is put some oil inside the receiver if you would like to, just a little bit in the channels. So uh, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and drop one drop in there inside the receiver where the ejector would be. Just one drop and that will kind of help the bolt, you know, lubricate the whole receiver. So we're going to go ahead and assemble this firearm. So check our action bar, place the bolt on top. And what I like to do is I grab the firearm and slide it in the magazine tube through uh, into the receiver and go ahead and hit this button. Hold the button down so you can get the bolt back in. Gonna have to wiggle a little bit. This might take a little bit of convincing here. Let's see. One moment here. There we go. Okay, it took some convincing there. Now, now we got it. All the way back, we can actually go ahead and push it forward about, I would say, halfway, just so we can insert the barrel here, about right there. And we'll go ahead and grab our barrel and guide it through the magazine tube. 
maybe lift it a little more up. You guys can see the barrel extension there lining up with the receiver. So we got that at the top lining up with the magazine tube. Go ahead, insert the receiver, make sure it's all the way in. And then we can go ahead and grab our pump handle, pull it all the way down. So the bolt is all the way back and we can go ahead and tighten our magazine cap right here. And once you tighten that, we're good to go. Uh, let's test the function of the firearm. Go ahead and send it forward, make sure it locks. So it locks, that's a good thing. Safety, off, and let's see dry fire. Pump once, reset trigger, pull, dry fire. Pump it again, safety on. See, it's on fire, safety works. Perfect, uh, and now the firearm is cleaned. Disassembled, reassembled, and ready to go. We've checked the firearm, so that being said that will be it for this video it's a simple cleaning video thanks for watching guys don't forget to like share and subscribe go ahead and hit that notification bell if you guys want updates on our newest videos and as always thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one